Welcome to this second part uh, of solving quadratic equations by factoring. Yeah? And I've written down a quadratic equation yeah, with the highest power of x being 2, yeah, so a square. And I've said already the strategy for all quadratic equations to solve them is to equal it to 0 and putting it in the correct order, x squared, x and then your number. Okay? Now, I'm going a little bit quicker now, so please make sure you know what uh, factoring is, uh, otherwise look at my playlist about factoring uh, or at the previous videos. Um, so part one, I'll put an x, x there, two numbers that multiply two, and if I add those two numbers, three, okay, a positive three. And hopefully, you know, maybe you want to take a look at that, think about it, what do you think? Yes, two and uh, one, good. <coughs> Excuse me. I always check my work and I use my fingers guys. I'm a math teacher, but I've got these fingers. I'm using them I'm gonna foil quickly expand it see if I did, didn't make a silly mistake because many times we tend to make silly mistakes here x squared as yes, I'm expanding it now 1 times x so x plus 2x that's my 3x and 2 times 1 indeed is 2 I didn't make a silly mistake fantastic then I talked about the zero product property the ZPP what does that mean well it's for it to equal to zero then either x plus 2 has to be zero or x plus 1 has to be zero that's the zero product property yeah any number times zero is going to be zero so my solution is I'm going to solve that linear equation now minus 2 and minus one. Okay, those are my two solutions. Now, you can evaluate those in the original equation to check if that's correct, yeah? But I just wanna show you now, what does that exactly mean, okay? So I quickly sketched the graph of x squared plus three x plus two, and it's a sketch, okay? So I, I, I could do a lot better job if I have some time and a sharp pencil, yeah? But as you hopefully know, let me write down the equation here, x squared, plus 3x uh, plus 2, that was it, right? Yeah, that's it. As you hopefully know, a quadratic equation, if you graph it, is what we call a parabola, yeah? It's a beautiful symmetrical curve, with in this case a minimum, yeah? Sometimes it's the other way around, all right? When does it equal zero? Or if you like, when does y equal zero? Yeah? <coughs> Sorry, I'm coughing here now. When does y equal zero? Well, that's when x is minus one, and that's when x is minus two. It is important that you realize that actually, when you are solving, always, when you are solving quadratic equations by factoring, by completing the square, or by using the ABC formula, your answers, your solutions, are actually what we call the x-intercepts, or the x-intercepts, where it cuts the x-axis. Yeah, where my y is zero. So for any question you're gonna do in the near future, that is actually what you're finding, the x-intercepts, okay? So uh, although uh, that is never really part of the question, usually, um, it is important to realize that, all right? Because when you start graphing parabolas, you'll get similar questions. They'll ask you, well, what are the x-intercepts? Then you should understand, oh, hang on a minute, those two points, when x is minus one, when x is minus two, yeah, when x is minus one, when x is minus two, my y is zero. All right, um, next video, again, factoring, more examples for you, yeah, and then we'll have an exercise, uh, so part four, where you can have a go yourself. Okay, I'll see you there.